guys, welcome. Hey, glad you could join me. This is uh, Patrick Precourt, and welcome to Friday Morning Coffee Break. As you guys probably know right now, I mean, this is where you get the most up-to-date news, tips and tricks of real estate investment, and, and you know, in our particular case, in our pre-foreclosure business and industry. I apologize for all the noise in the background. I mean, Friday mornings here are pretty busy, but it's where we operate on Friday morning, so I'd like to come to you from our place of business. You know, shortly after here, we'll meander on over to the office and get to, get to work there, but you know what? This is where we get a lot of work done. So what I want to talk to you about today is an upcoming call we got, which is in about two weeks from now, and it's our annual state of the state of the real estate investment um, economy, if you will. A lot of changes going on, and you know there's a lot of questions about how the new president is going to affect our real estate investment and how all the legislation change is going to affect it. Pat, should we go out and get a real estate investment or a real estate um, broker's license these days? All this stuff going on. So we're going to go over a whole bunch of questions, how this business is truly evolving in front of us, how changes, you know, in the past eight months or more than I've seen in my eight to ten years of, as a professional real estate investor. So it's a call you certainly don't want to miss. Just keep your ears open. We're going to announce that pretty shortly the date and how to queue into it. There's no cost to it, it's just what we do to kind of give back to everybody. You know, the, the thing I've noticed, and just is based on a lot of the questions that come in, if you guys don't know, you can always go to askpatrickprecourt.com or askboblachance.com and send in your questions. That's another thing we do on our Friday coffee breaks is we answer these questions live. But we get a lot of questions about you know where to invest today, what, you know, um, um, how to invest today, seeing as there's no homes being sold, and if it's even still a good time to get into real estate investment. Let me just touch on that real quick. A lot of this we're going to go over in the big call, but the reality of it is, is that, you know what, we as investors have to buy or invest today based on current equity in the property. We can't buy in future assessed or appraised value or an increase or appreciation in value. So you got to get that straight right from the get-go. If you're a long-term buy and hold investor or a landlord type investor, then I'm going to leave that out of this discussion for right now. But for the sake of this discussion, most of us, most of you listening to this, we buy low and then we sell higher and that's when we make our money in between. Whether we're a wholesale investor or we buy and hold for a month or two and then sell, we all flip properties no matter how you slice and dice it. That's what we do and there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. So, um, I just want to talk, give you kind of one little tidbit here that's, that's really foundational to your understanding. It doesn't matter what property sell for today. There's so much focus in news on how much we've lost 25% of value in California, 19.5% of value in, in parts of Florida. Uh, the average nationwide is about 15.5%. You know, up here in the Northeast, we've lost about 7 or 8% value since this whole thing has started. All right. But that's not, that has nothing to do with you or I. What's important to you and I is whether or not properties are being sold. All right, that's it. Because we're gonna buy low and sell slightly higher. We don't care what we buy at as long as we sell slightly higher. So please get off what the news drives you to because it's so insignificant to our investment businesses. What we're concerned with is the properties that are being bought and sold day to day. And that's the point I'm gonna to get to right now. Now there's a giant underlying foundational issue in our real estate investment and real estate in general, the economy of our real estate right now. We're gonna talk about a lot of that in a couple weeks, all right? But the, the fundamental flaw is that there's three, in excess of three million vacant properties right now nationwide and we're normally down around maybe 750,000 units, 800,000 units. We're, that's where we're supposed to be and we're way up here at 3 million units, which means that our supply and our demand are way out of whack. Now, that you may think I'm, I'm contradicting what I just said because you know if the supply is way up here, demand is way down here, that automatically drops the price of the commodity, this time being the house, okay? But that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is the security or the confidence people have in investing in real estate. And when I say investing in real estate, I'm not talking about just you or I buying and selling. I'm talking about the homeowner taking out a loan on a house that he's going to live in and the confidence he has that next week that house isn't going to lose value. See, we have to put a bottom, a bottom on the real estate investment market. Once it's there, everything's going to turn over. How do we get it there? We balance out the supply and demand. Once we know that the values are not going to go any lower, guess what? Lenders are going to be open to lending much more money. Buyers are going to be open to buying much more money. When this all starts happening, then the inventory is going to start burning up more and more and more. And we'll quickly get back to where we belong. And I know you already know this, guys and gals, that 
all the stuff going on on Wall Street, all the stuff of bailing out um, big GM motor companies and things like that. You know, that gets all the hype, but the reality of it is, our economy is driven off of our real estate performance. Why? That's what sets people's mindsets, okay? And there's nothing more powerful than what you and I believe to be true. And what we believe to be true is based on our perception. Our perceptions are driven by all this real estate stuff around us. That's just how this flows. And the second we get competent and positive about the real estate market and the real estate industry, our minds will be in a, in a position of a positive growth and things will start coming back for us. All right? You have to believe me on this one. So the point here being that we're concerned about buying and selling, not how much are being bought and sold for. I don't think our value is going to come back anytime soon. I do believe, I do believe, not too far off in the future, we're going to see a comfortable bottom here. The new buyers are going to start coming in, people are going to start buying and selling, we're going to have a lot of lenders coming back on the market and lending a lot more money. And that's going to be a great day for us. Right? So what I want you to take away from this is get your minds off of the fact that we've lost so much value in real estate. A lot of it was artificial anyways, it just didn't make a difference. It wasn't real. And I'll tell you in our call, a lot more what generated that and how we can avoid that going forward and the mistakes that were made, but it doesn't matter, it is what it is. The fact that Obama's president doesn't make any difference, good or bad. If McCain were, were president, it wouldn't make any difference, good or bad. So get your minds and your focus off of that. Let's get our focus on our business, okay, and what it takes to make money today. It's a great, great day to be in real estate investment. The opportunities are abundant. Unfortunately, they're clouded by all this bad news you hear day to day. Pro you know, it's just promoted by the media because they got nothing better to do. You know the media, guys, in general, makes money on creating bad feelings in us. And they do a very good job of that. It's time you guys get your heads out of this, all right, and focused on your business and making money. You bring so much value and opportunity to those around you when you buy and sell a house. You get value in that you make money. The seller of the house gets value. They, they get out, typically today, out from underneath the debt. You liquidate a lender who needs money. You get the pumps going again, and that's where this is really important. We gotta get the pumps going. The stagnant water in the pond. We don't care about the level. We care about it's not stagnant any longer. It's pumping. Okay. So I'll look for look for some uh, emails from us or, or some uh, uh, dates for the upcoming call. Like I said, it's going to be about two weeks out. We'll give the information on it. Come back here every Friday for the Friday coffee break. I do have a tip of the week for you. Uh, not, I'm sorry, not the tip of the week, a quote of the week, which I dig out in my travels every week. I just want to leave you with this. Okay. And. Uh, this one's from a guy named Ray Bradbury. He really is a brilliant individual. This goes back ways, but I just want you to hear this, okay? It says, if we listen to our intellect, we never have a love affair. We never have a friendship. We never go into business because we're too cynical. Well, you know what? That's absolute nonsense. You gotta jump off cliffs all the time and build your wings on the way down. You know what? My son taught me that. He's taught me that many times over. Kids are brilliant, you know this, guys. Okay, they pick an end and then figure out the means along the way. Us as adults, somehow we get so caught up on the means, it blocks us from ever even achieving or setting a good end. Please learn from this. It's a great quote, okay? Stop worrying about how you're going to do it and just do it. Guys, this is Patrick Precourt signing off for a Friday coffee break. I'll see you same time, same place next week. Thanks.